so hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video and in this video i'll be solving problem b that was ls fitness and the luxury number from dietech lab cup uh, and i will also make videos on problem c and d so stay tuned for that as well and let's start with the problem now before we move on to the solution uh, i want to take a small break and tell you guys about newton school's premier coding contest so as all of you guys love cp and all of you, all of you guys love to code this is a great opportunity to show off your coding skills and also win some cash prizes there are prizes worth at least 30000 and along with this you can also win some free coding courses or also grab some internship opportunities right so uh, for this reason only newton school organizes this contest every month on a global scale so you can also benchmark yourself where you are lacking or where you are standing uh, compared to other students so this month it will be on 27th october it will be around two and a half hours starting from 9 pm and it is absolutely free to uh, sign up for so there will be there will be a link down below so do check out that link and sign up for the contest for absolutely free yeah so let's move on to the solution now so in the problem uh, we have been given some number of test cases uh, where t is up to 10 to the power 4 and for every test case we have been given a range starting from l and ending at some value r where both l and r can be up to 10 to the power 18 so for each test case we have to find the count of luxury numbers count of luxury numbers in range l to r right now what is a luxury number we call a number x luxury if it is divisible by square root of x flow that means if x modulo square root of x flow is equal to 0 then we call number x luxury for example if we have let's say 8 uh, square root of 8 flow is equal to 2 and 8 modulo 2 is equal to 0 then that means x is a luxury number similarly if you check for 7 uh, square root of 7 modulo uh, sorry square root of 7 uh, float is also equal to 2 but 7 modulo 2 is not equal to 0 then that means x7 is not luxury right so that is what we mean by luxury so given this you have to find the count of luxury numbers in range l to r so how can we solve this let's move on to the observations the very first observation that you require is the constraints right so if you see the constraints the number of test cases are up to 10 to the power 4 right and for every test case l and r up to 10 to the power 18 right so that means you have to answer every test case in either o of 1 in either o of 1 or in either o of log l something right because you have around 10 to the power 4 test cases, right? So you have to answer around O around O of 1 or around O of log L to pass under the time limit. Uh, so if you have to answer each test case in O of 1, then that means you have to find either a mathematical formula or some kind of pattern. Because that is the only way you can answer every test case in O of 1, right? Because L and R are very large. So you cannot do a brute force. So if you're able to find a pattern, uh, then you can answer each test case in O of 1 and then you can easily pass un under the time limit. So let's see if we are able to find some kind of mathematical formula or not. If we are not, then we have to find some kind of log L approach, right? But let's hopefully, uh, let's hope that we are able to find some kind of pattern. So now let's try to find the pattern if there is any. Let's write all the numbers, uh, let's say X from 1 up to some values 1 2 3 4 6 7 8 9 10 12 13 14 15 16 17 let's right so we write 17 numbers now let's try to find value of square root of x float let's call this value x dash for now right x dash so we have 1 2 3 4 and 5 and 6 right that's it so if we do 1, 2, 3, if we square root these values and floor them, we will get the value of 1. If we do the same thing for 4, 5, 6, 7, up to 8, we will get value 2. If we do the same thing from 9 up to, let's say, 15, we will get 3. And from 16 up to 24, we will get the value of 4. Right? 
so now let's try to count the number of luxury numbers here so one divides one two and three so one so one is luxury two is luxury three is also luxury two divides four six and eight three divides nine twelve and fifteen four divides sixteen uh, also divides twenty and also divides twenty four right so i hope you are able, able to see the pattern right so for every number x dash it has three luxury numbers right one has one two and three two has four six and eight three has nine twelve and fifteen and four has uh, 16 20 and 24 right so every number x dash has three luxury numbers so now you are able to see the pattern so now you can write now you can find the pattern for range l to r and now it just becomes a counting problem right so given some range l to r now you just have to break the range and count the luxury numbers using this pattern so how can we do this let's see that so you have been given some range l up to r so you can define two points one you can call the left point which will be equal to square root of l float let's call this l dash and now let's call the right end point right point right which will be square root of r float which will be equal to r dash right so from l dash to r dash all the numbers will have three luxury numbers right so if you check for l dash plus one l dash plus two up to r dash minus one all of these will have three luxury numbers three luxury numbers so you can say that your answer will be how much your answer will be uh, count manually for l dash plus r dash minus so you can say answer for l dash uh, plus r dash minus l dash minus one into three right because all of these will have three luxury numbers and the number of such numbers are r dash minus l dash minus one into three right so that will be the answer for all these numbers right and for r dash you also have to find the answer so you can say answer for r dash as well right so you already so you already know this thing so now you just have to find the answer for l dash and answer for r dash so how can you find the answer for l dash and r dash so let's see that so if you see some other patterns right now let's try to see some other pattern so if you try to see for 2 we have 4 5 6 7 and 8 right you have 4 as a luxury number 6 as a luxury number and 8 as a luxury number 4 is 2 into 2 6 is 3 into 2 8 is 4 into 2 right so let's say my value 2 is equal to let's say k dash then it means that my first number is k dash into k dash my second number is k dash plus 1 into k dash my third number is k dash plus 2 into k dash we can check it once again let's say for 3 right we have 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 right so here we have 3 into 3 here we have 4 into 3 and here we have 5 into 3 right so we just just have to check for these three numbers right if we have a number k dash we can just check for k dash into k dash k dash plus 1 into k dash and k dash plus 2 into k dash right so if we have to find the answer for l dash and r dash so my answer is is equal to answer for l dash plus r dash minus l dash minus 1 into 3 plus answer for r dash right these will only have three numbers right so i can just check if l dash into l dash is lying between l, l and r if l dash plus 1 into l dash is lying between l and r and if l dash plus 2 into l dash is lying between l and r and i and i, and I can do the same thing for r dash right i can check if r dash into r dash is lying between l and r and do the same thing for the other two cases right so i can just count these and in the end i can just print out my answer right so in the end i can just find my answer i can give you an example as well so you can understand what i'm doing better right so let's write an example let's say we have 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 right so my l dash is how much my l dash is equal to square root of l and flow so it is 2 float so it will be 1 my r dash is how much it is square root of r float so it is 17 square root and float 
right? So it will be equal to four. My R dash is equal to four, right? So if I break it, uh, I will get this equal to two. We we'll get four up to eight. Sorry, I will get this is equal to one. Four up to eight into two. Nine up to fifteen into three, and sixteen to seventeen into four, right? So for values from uh, from L dash to R dash, that is two and three. So I will get R dash minus L dash minus one into three, right? So that is four minus one into three. Sorry, four minus one minus one into three. So that will be two into three. That is equal to six, right? So my value value two and three. It will give me six numbers, right? So it it will give me four, six, and eight, and nine, twelve, and fifteen, right? So now now I have to count the answer for value one and for value four, right? For them I can check my values. So two and three are lying in the range, and sixteen is lying in the range, right? So you so you can say that my one will contribute two, and my four will contribute one. So it will give me two plus six from the middle plus one from the right side. So it will give me six plus two plus one. It will give me nine, right? So that will be my answer. And that is how you can solve this. And if you guys want to see the code for this, uh, here is the code. So you can take your range L and R. You can find left end point, left square root, right end point, right square root. Uh, my answer from the elements in the middle that will be right square root minus left square root minus one into three. And then you can manually check the answer for the left end point and for the right end point. The only thing that you need to take care of is when your left end point is equal to right end point, then you have to make sure that that you don't over count. So there is a condition: if left square root is not equal to right square root, then only I will count the contribution of right square root, right? Otherwise, if they are equal, then I will over count. So to stop the over counting, I will write this condition: if left square root is not equal to right square root, then only count the contribution of the right square root, right? And in the end, I can just print out the answer. Uh, i am sure there will be some implementations that that are much easier but uh, this is my way of Im implementing this yeah so that is it for this video and if you guys have some doubts feel free to join my discord server i will be more than happy to answer your doubts there and i will see you guys in the next one bye bye